In the studio today, we are testing Schmincke Kohl. It is a liquid charcoal made from burnt fruit seeds mixed with gum arabic. I will use my watercolor brushes and watercolor paper. I'm painting pine cones because I like the tonal values it will give me that I can represent. All Schmincke products are tested for light fastness and you will see the rating on the label. The more stars, the more light fast or permanent or non-fading it is. Gum Arabic is water soluble and you can put it on your palette and when it dries you can re-wet it and use it over and over again. Making it convenient to store and reuse without any waste. Grapeseed Black is the bluest of the black charcoals. It was easy to get a large range of extra darks and extra lights and the lifting and movability of this charcoal on the paper is really lovely. You can see I'm using water and a bit of a tissue to lift back the highlights on the lower part of the pine cone, just to bring more depth to the subject matter. If you're going to be working your paper this aggressively, you'll want to make sure that it's 100% cotton and heavily sized. Up next is Cherry Pit Black. This is an exciting color. It's such a warm black. It has this rosy brown undertone and it was perfect for depicting the pine cones. I could see myself doing a whole series using just this color. So this exercise is charcoal. It's tonal. It's about light and shadow. Is it painting? Is it drawing? What do you think? Our third test is Peach Pit Black. This is a neutral black. All of the Kole colors seemed equally workable, equally good at lifting. The blacks were rich. When working in strictly gray scale, I like to practice my positive and negative shapes. So sometimes it's not what you paint, it's what you paint around that gives you your highlights. The charcoal is finely ground. I expected it to be more granular, but Schmeke makes a lot of watercolors that are more granulating than these beautiful charcoals. Bonus material, we also have liquid charcoal from the Canadian manufacturer Mitrum. Let's give this a try. It is also water soluble and light fast. All of these products can dry on a plastic or ceramic palette and you can re-wet them to use them later, so nothing is wasted. I was surprised that this was more of a graphite colored product. Very granular, very interesting to work with. You could almost push and sculpt the tone with your brush. The finished effect was much more granular and textural than the Schmincke products. I love making sample charts for this store. Let's explore some of the drawing properties of these liquid charcoals. Smudging with a blending stump is possible with minimal effect. I can get shading, but I won't obliterate the edge. Here again, all four products perform equally. Erasing proved impossible with a regular vinyl eraser, kneaded eraser, magic rub, uh, sumo eraser, none of them worked until I got to the sanded eraser by Tombow. The Tombow Mono sanded eraser worked well. This is an abrasive, gritty eraser, so you need good quality, artist quality paper. Uh, none of your printmaking papers, you need something that's got sizing on it to make sure that you're not ripping and tearing at the page as you're trying to remove your liquid charcoal. I also wanted to see what happened when you took a very wet brush and dragged it right up next to a thick, dry coal or liquid charcoal, and it really didn't move or bleed at all meaning you can do watercolors right up to the edge and not see bleeding or contamination. However, with a wet brush, you can aggressively rub back in and make the edge disappear. So if you want to soften those hard edges, you need to do it with a wet brush and water. Here I'm using a synthetic brush. I never recommend a natural hair brush for any of this scrubbing or lifting of color. It's too hard on the hairs. Use a synthetic brush. 
Speaking of lifting, here we're trying a wet brush. To the count of five, I rubbed a little circle, let the water sit, and then dabbed it off with a paper towel, just to show that all of them lift equally. It's still quite a staining color. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this useful. Leave your questions and comments below. These beautiful materials and more at paintspot.ca.